ask me who Chip Foose is and what motivates me and keeps me excited about design, well, I consider that my career is an extension of my father's career. Because uh, I, I grew up with my dad, he was building cars and, and that passion for building something really cool and something that you want to get in and drive, that's alive and well today at Foose Design. But this car is completely handmade, it's a hand-formed steel body, uh, all the interior pieces, it's 800 horsepower with one of the Magnuson superchargers on it. It's got one-off wheels on it. It's got the Pirelli tires. I get excited about all different different types of things, and it's you know I see something, but I always want to change it. And I get excited about making those changes, uh, like a '65 Impala that we're doing at the shop right now. I always thought that was a beautiful car, great lines on that car, but it was such a boat, so long. So we're taking one right now. We cut it up. First, we went and bought a brand new Corvette from the dealership. Drove it two blocks. Unplugged every wire, didn't cut anything pulling it apart, but took it down to just the raw frame. We stretched that frame seven inches, and now we're putting this 65 Impala body on it, but we're shortening that car 14 inches overall, taking eight inches out of the length at the top, bringing the top down an inch and a quarter. And the whole theme of this car is what if the Corvette Studio in 1965 not only built the sports car that you're familiar with, Corvette, but also a muscle car, and that's what we're going to call the Impostor. What I remember as a kid, Pirelli as being that unattainable tire. That was on Ferraris and Porsches and all this high-end luxury uh, performance vehicles. And to put those on my cars, you know, that's a great smile. And this is our latest creation, the Steve Celine SMS 302 Mustang. And uh, we've taken, uh, really from what we've been doing for the last 30 years, every bit of knowledge and have incorporated it to our latest product. What you see here is a very unique um, car in the respect that it's, uh, it has a completely different suspension for better handling and, uh, and cornering. Of course, here we are at the Pirelli exhibit and it comes with the best tires in the world and those are the Pirelli P0s. We wouldn't use anything else. My relationship Pirelli, uh, with Pirelli started uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, a friend of mine, Raphael, had uh, come to me and said, can we work together? And it seemed like a great fit. We try to build the best cars we can, and that means I need to use the best tires I can. We've been specifically using P0s on almost everything that comes out of the shop. One of the cars we've debuted here at SEMO is the 515 GTB, which was based on a 69 Dodge Charger, um, and among other things, used the Pirelli P0 tire. In fact, that whopping big old 345, 3519, it's absolutely perfect for a Dodge Charger. Not only do I have that width, but I've got that nice size size wall, that side wall that still says uh, muscle car to me. So we kind of took that and used it for our own, and that car was one of the world's first or only muscle cars with an active GT2 air jack system in the chassis. We made it right hand drive, and I did a, just a large amount of old Ferrari, old European race car touches to the vehicle. It also became a, a, a book, a, a, the build book. We have a 200 page book on the build of that car. And we also did Hot Rod TV with that car. And again, I needed the quality of Pirelli, so I was really happy to have that great tire to make that rim and tire fitment to make that car special. One of my favorite was the uh, Pirelli P0, so that was a natural for me. And so that was kind of my demand on the builder is that we somehow find a size and that, that tire to be on the car and as you see that's what we ended up with is the the P0 which looks much more appropriate on this car because of the it's got kind of a I want to say a bad look so to speak um, from a hot rod perspective but it also has the elegant look and this tire fits both. Hi, my, my name is Calvin A, the president of Water Tech Interiors. We're here at SEMA 2010 in Las Vegas, and I'm in the Pirelli booth. Uh, what I'm doing is standing next to the brand new tire that they're releasing. It's called the Trofeo. Now, last year when we started a BMW race project, uh, we built a E92 M3, and Pirelli was kind enough to work with us on that project. Uh, the Trofeo was a tire that we selected from the beginning. Um, we heard that it was coming out, and they shipped us one straight from Europe. And I have to say, the track event was, was incredible. Uh, this tire, I think, is going to be a force to be reckoned with on the track as well as off the track. Um, 
we're still getting some adjustments made, getting a little bit custom to the performance of this, this tire, but I think 2011 is going to be a great year for us.